What's good, YouTube? This is Beamer Mafia, and today we're gonna be changing the oil in the 530i. I'm about 8,000 miles from my last uh, oil change, so I'm kind of don't want to admit that, but I've been real busy, so we're gonna try to run this video in five, six minutes. Let's All right, this is what you're gonna be needing: uh, 5.6 quarts of synthetic oil. I'm running the 5 uh, 5W30. I think it calls for 0W20, but uh, yeah, I'm not running that. And so this is the man filter that I got. Comes with the, everything you need. You're going to need a 17 for the oil drain plug. And you're going to need a 27 to take off the oil filter housing cap. And of course, I got you know, the two different ratchets. Okay. Okay, step one. You're going to use a 27 millimeter to remove the oil filter housing cap. And do not forget to put the O-ring, the new O-ring, around the oil filter housing uh, cap. Okay, so we got the filter. The new one already comes with this little O-ring on there. Now in there, you're going to see two holes. You're going to want to stab this in there to so line it up, right? So 27 millimeter, tighten it. Now, remember when I said you stab it, like there's two little holes in there, you can't make sure. It won't seat right if it's not properly in there. So you'll know if it's in there or not. Okay. Okay, we underneath the car. Remember, don't forget your crush washer. <laughs> Daughter, get back, boy. Is he smelling your butt or what? <laughs> All right, we're gonna twist this off. Daughter, get back. Get back, boy. Oh, twist that off. It's a 17 millimeter. Okay, so I got the five quart jug, so it costs for 5.6 quarts, so it's going to take one whole one, and then this second one, I'm going to come to this, to the 4.5. So that'll be five. Yeah, 5.5. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fill the oil up. I'm drinking a mini. I'm passing my camera woman. <laughs> she wants to sip too. Okay, so let's just get to filling this, get to filling her up. <clears throat> My girl, it needed a, the car needed an oil. It said it needed a quart, which is kind of, that's a lot of oil to me, but we are 8,000 miles. And our, um, since our last oil change. Oh, I didn't even see this thing comes off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just in case dirt gets in there, you can clean it out. Okay. You see how, like, in there it's nice and shiny? We want to keep it like that. So, no more letting it go 8,000 miles. Okay, so let's get to filling it up. Forgot we're keeping this video five minutes. This seems really easy. I could do it. You think so? Um, you can. So you can watch my video and learn how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. B48 is thirsty. And needs a scissor. Okay. Now we're gonna do it's 
five quarts. Now we're gonna do the 0. 0.6. So I'm gonna eyeball it to a little bit under the half mark. Barely to the 4.5. Now this is for the 0.1. Okay, now let's measure. It's 4.5, right? One more little sip. Okay. Now we should be good. Oh, kind of a little bit over. But it's alright. Because it's got to run through the filter too. Okay. Bada bing. Bing bow. <laughs> Keep hearing that on the. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Okay. Boom. Oh, we gotta reset the light. But let me turn it on. Okay, we're gonna hit this three times. You're gonna hit the BC button. Diagnostic mode active. Okay, you're gonna hit this. Okay, there it goes. And click it till you find the engine oil. Reset, you're gonna hold it down again. It's going to say reset. Yes, you hold it down again. Boom, resetting in progress. It says 9,000 miles to the next oil change, but we're going to change it in about 65. So there you go. It is reset, oil light done. I hope y'all learned something from this. If you're watching Beamer Mafia. Hit that like button if it helped you out. And uh, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace out.